بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this tutorial we are going to discuss how to create a column span and column split within our text frame So we are going to start by adding a text frame using the type tool text and then we are going to fill it with placeholder text from here or you can fill it with any text of your choice if you want so first of all we are going to double click inside the text frame and select all the text by pressing Control A from the keyboard and then from the properties panel we go to the paragraph styles and we go to the column and increase the column to three columns for example okay now consider that we have a title here sorry So this is the title. I'm going to apply a character style to this title to make it different. So I'm going to apply this title as you can see here. Now the title is not moving to another column. It is just staying on the same column, which is the default behavior. So you can make this column extends to other columns by selecting this paragraph here and go to the column span options and select span all span two three four so you can span two columns three columns four columns or all columns regardless of how many columns you have you see now the column spans or this paragraph spans along the whole all columns you can uh, continue your typing column span split and span let me just type within text frame you see it's going to span along all columns even if you have four columns here you see it's going to continue spanning along four of them it's not going to continue to only three text frames okay so this is the column span it's very useful if you want to create a title that spans along your columns without needing to create a separate text frame to add a title to it and then size it based on your text frames that is filled with columns and the other option is column split what if you want to split your columns into sub columns in addition in, in, in instead of adding another text frame or adding another table within your text frame you can simply the, select the paragraph or if you can't you can select them all and you go here to the column span options and down there in the second group you have split two three four you can split them to two columns three columns or even four columns as you can see here they're gonna split into two columns and this is not going to be affected even if you add three columns you see it's going to continue splitting this paragraph you can split any paragraph that you want of course you can just press enter here and then you're gonna have this paragraph and you can split it three columns okay so you're gonna have three here and two there okay so this is the split on the column split I'm gonna undo everything and I'm gonna go back to this column here now there is another tip that you can do or another something you another useful option that you can do with your text frame when you select your text frame you might notice let me zoom in a little bit this yellow rectangle here when you click this yellow rectangle you are gonna see handles along the edges of your text frame moving these angles will enable you to create a rounded corners for your text box which can enables you to add uh, or to create a circular text okay of course the shape will change when you resize your text frame and all the time you can change them at any time if you want to you can go back to the original text frame when you click outside you click again you're gonna see this rectangle or square yellow square you click it again then you get access to the handle and then you create like circular text you can select them all and select one column and change this to be justify center and that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoy the video if you have any comments please leave them below thank you very much and see you in next tutorial inshallah